What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, world? Hey. Whew. Some flavor on that one. Hey, it's not COVID. I'm high. You ran out of breath right now. <laughs> hey. <laughs> He's hey, ready. That, that was a tough one, boys. I'm ready. I don't even have time to roll my sleeves up. I want to get to the intro. Then I'll introduce these guys. Let Hey, see what we've been doing. You're making me hot with that sweatshirt, though. I'm not frozen. Hey, I, that was hey. <laughs> that was awesome. I knew why you did like, that. That was so funny. I was like, oh, is he frozen? <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> Guys, hey, we're breaking down uh, 12 teams super flex. I'm going to switch it up because it's always a mouthful. This time's a little different. We're breaking down Dynasty Startup. Things Dynasty are going drive. down on this show. It's going it's switcher. down. Switch it up. You got to switch it up here. Who? Hey, who do I got? My man on my right, Frank Diesel. What's up? What's up, people? Welcome back. I like that one. Frank That's a good one. Diesel, Frankie Frank, Frank the Tank is here. We got Ant down for us. What's up, brother? What's up, man? How are you guys doing today? Hey. We're going Dynasty today. I'm liking it. Yeah, right? You're not gonna be I was in this one. I was in this one. Oh, this should be interesting, boys. I can smell F minuses coming up. Hey, roll your sleeves up. We're here. Get right, Fantasy Network. I already told you you want to piss me off, like and subscribe. Um, <laughs> right in our mocks. Hey, we're here. You know how to get a hold of us. Check out the website. Like, hey, Frank's been doing major work on it. Andrew's always writing amazing articles. We're here. Um, we got both your guys' uh, fantasy rankings up there. We got too much stuff for you guys to handle. You don't want to know everything that goes on behind the scenes. We're always working. but. Let's get to the matter at hands. Ryan M. Hick is back and said, you know what? You know what, get right, crew? I want to be in the dynasty draft. How do you do, Ant? I had to start my my guy off here with a pretty good grade. I, I, okay. I want to preface everything by saying a lot of this is, you know, very subjective. You know, when you're when you're going dynasty, it's you know, kind of are you built now? Are you built, you know, to win later? You know, kind of what are you doing with the team? Um, but to me, I think uh, Ryan comes out here and uh, has a nice uh, team that's built to win now. Uh, I think he's, you know, still young at really key position, really key positions and has like a nice mixture of young and kind of veteran talent, um, you know, which to me makes it um, a nice draft. Uh, if I was going to take over a team in this league, I would, uh, you know, like to take over this one. Wow. Yeah, I, agree. I agree with Anthony too, man. I like the team. Uh, you know, Najee Harris, I think that's his best pick where he took him. Uh, and maybe he could get one more year out of him because he's not going to be, you know, you know, a, a late pick type of guy that you're going to be able to get. He didn't really go too far into depth than that. I didn't like Claypool where he took him. Uh, but then again, you know, maybe it's his breakout season or something uh, for that guy. But I still give him a mate overall. I still like the construction of the team. I like the players that he has, and I think he's going to do well. Yeah. Hey. Definitely needs to pick up some uh, young QBs in the rookie draft and, you know, key in on some uh, rookie wide receivers. And, again, yeah. if you're finishing high, you know, in this pick, that means you're going to have a later, um, you know, pick in the rookie draft. So um, you're going to be able to get those types of uh, players. So he kind of set it up nice for himself. Exactly. Yeah, you got to love it. And it being a startup, I mean, to hey, you put a startup with Mahomes, like, not yeah. a bad day. Not a bad day in the office, boys. And then, so just to completely tank from there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> are we talking about rock bottom? Because we, hey, we went there. We're all in the same pipe when we're talking about Ryan. His name could be Rye. His middle name could be Ann. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to call him Ryan. Uh, and then you got Ross one, Farron. I, Raz. I think his name's Ra, Raz. Raz T. Hey, we got Raz. <laughs> I'm just kidding, boys. Hey, we 
hey, having a little fun. But, dude, I don't think you could do worse than this. Frank, what do you think? I think that uh, he did pretty good, honestly, at the end of the day. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I mean, Anthony and I differ on Corey Clement that he took the last pick. He thinks he's going to be a breakout guy. I'm not sold on him. I know he, you know, had some flashes at the end of the year. Um, not, not for me enough. I think he could have got a little bit more younger talent, but he did get Bateman and Gainwell over here. So, you know, overall, I give him a B. Uh, just again, just because of the he's selling a quarry commitment on that, and you know, I mean, that's your last pick, shoot. I mean, you know. Yeah. Hey, he got a B because he's helping us run the show. Um, I, I could live with that, Frank. Definitely not A worthy. Um, <laughs> I like it though, overall. Tycoon. I can't see what your background is. Fantasy, uh, you, fantasy, Tayu, uh, oh, Tycoon, maybe? I don't know. Hey, it's very small. Who knows? Fantasy football tycoons here. Hey, I'll break down this team if I have a moment. Go ahead. And I'll ahead. break it down in one word. Wow. <laughs> wow. Hey, what? We talk about, hey, we, we give these guys good grades. Hey, you trade this, you trade this. Look at this. Hey, Devontae, Tyreek, and DK Metcalf, get out of here with Kyler Murray as your starting quarterback. Even with the two guys that I hate, Carson Wentz and Cousins, I mean – you know, even the other three, I know you guys, this is where you're going to tear them up on the running backs. Josh Jacobs, who I personally think is still going to have a good year. Kareem Hunt, always good at second. Uh, I'm not calling him second string, but as a second man over there. Um, I, wow. And Odell, like he's got all the names that I hate, but you look at that string of receivers after Kyler Murray, and tell me something bad about him. Running back. Yeah, man, I had to come in as a as a C plus here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna throw you guys a for a loop. You went here. lower than I did. This FF tycoon is actually <laughs> awkward shark dad in hiding. Really? Yeah. <laughs> We've been so bamboozled. Is, you've been bamboozled. Um, so this is awkward shark dad. He went for a name change to the Freaking fantasy wolf football in type sheep's clothing huh <laughs> yeah he tried to go wolf in sheep's clothing and i'm not going to let him fall for that um for that i give him a c plus because he's sh- oh no it's not awkward shark dad it's papa it's, conks it's calbeck it's papa no it's conks? papa conks <laughs> it's oh wow. so the I conks. Comes back. yeah so i, I apologize said- awkward shark dad it's not awkward shark dad is at the 12 spot so it can't be him <laughs> I was looking totally at his name. That. Yeah, I was, I was looking at him, yeah, unless he had two phones. But it's actually Papa Conks in hiding. So don't Traitor. let this guy don't let this guy fool you. Um in the chat. I couldn't I couldn't call him uh FF Tycoon. I kept calling him Papa Conks. And hey, for that I give him move. a C plus. What a veteran move, Papa. Hey. Hey, I, I you know, move. <laughs> now that I got my grades up and was able to look at the thing here. Papa Conk's team here, Tyler Murray, Metcalf, Hill, Adams. Obviously, he's very strong in wide receiver, but doing so just left him weak at running back with Jenkins uh, and Hunt over here. I don't know. It just seemed like like he just dropped off, basically. You know what I mean? Um, and because of that, you know, you, you, and then hits ends up with, you know, fourth quarterback and Drew Locke. He really didn't even need that guy. Um, you know, with Wentz and Cousins, that was enough to, you know, get you by. Uh, maybe big because he's trying to draft Drew Locke for the future, but I don't think I've seen enough of Drew Locke to know that I don't want him on my team. Um, so, you know, I just gave him a B because of that. I, I didn't know that it was just a switcheroo. You've had but... a, lot of, a lot of Drew Locke hate today, and I respect yeah. it. Yeah he's, yeah, he's with Denver, man. They, they, they pretty much suck, you know? <laughs> the new well then the news out of denver right now is uh teddy bridgewater yeah. and uh, jerry judy are having a nice connection so i may not even have hey. a job <laughs> hey like frank said hey you're not gonna get really bad news coming out of uh preseason and stuff like that right so everybody hey, looks good at practice. running around in shorts yeah. against no defense <laughs> yeah exactly everybody oh, looks yeah. good at practice exactly 
Oh, he caught the ball. Yeah, dude, you get millions of dollars. Anyway, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, I'm gone to pre. Oh, I've gone to preseason multiple times, and I can tell you, like, it's a hot mess. You have no clue what's really going on. That stuff's not on camera. But I'm going to warn you guys right now. I'm not a threatening kind of person, but you guys better not say anything bad about riding around in a rover. Riding in a rover. Okay. Hey, whatever you guys Rover. Want. I got to hear that song. I had a- <laughs> hey. Frank, I'm scared to hear what you have to say about this theme. <laughs> so let's just get yours out of the way. Uh, okay. Well, you know where I'm going with or, it. You know what happens when you, you know. It is you dynasty. It's too just high. Keep in mind it's dynasty. Just keep in mind it's dynasty. It's still it's super flex so... startup. All right. Hey. Well, let's just say he doesn't get him for this. So he still could have got him way later. Like, you know what I mean? Like, why bother with that? He could still get him later. Like, trust me, people are going to let him fall. You should let him fall. Um, Nobody's saying that, but fall. somebody keeps taking him. Yeah, yeah but they for keep taking reason, him. Look, eventually, once once he's proven it out, only then takes they'll, finally learn, they'll finally know because he's not going to play this year. Come on, guys. He's not going to play this year. <laughs> the NFL's not going to suspend this guy. Like, even after he's done with all these legal battles that are not going to be over till 2023. What's his suspension right now? How long is he looking at? They haven't even Zero talked games. about it yet. Exactly. They haven't even talked about it yet. You know what I mean? Zero like, come on. Games. What did they What did they do to Zeke? Six games this season after he got to pick his time. What did they do to Ben Roethlisberger, Frank? <laughs> he got suspended too. I don't think we're just one of those. Okay. Anyways. Okay. Yeah. I just all right. think. Hey. You know, <laughs> we I don't even look at the rest of it. I do, I do like the, four, the setup of the team, running back, running back, quarterback, quarterback, and he gets, you know, a plethora of tight end and wide receivers in there. The structure's fine. I, you know, th- that's just me not caring for Deshaun Watson. I don't think you're going to have him. If he does come in, you're going to have him late. Uh, I don't think he's worth that high of a pick if you do take him um, because of that whole uncertainty. I mean, he's worse than – off than Aaron Rodgers. At least Aaron Rodgers, you know, he's going to play. He's going to stay either in, in uh, Green Bay or he's going to play, you know, starting position some other team. This guy's not going to be on your roster. So uh, look at that still, Hubbard still. Are we not going to talk about the Hubbard still? Or well, I like I like the other guys. Waddle. I like Hubbard. I like the other guys. I like the, the people that he took. I just and, and and the structure that he has on the team. I just still just don't like Deshaun Watson. So. You That's made just, that clear, Frank. And now, continue. once once I beat it into their heads, they'll be fine. <laughs> I'm in a rover. I got my man rover here. You heard this song at a C. I you got it at a C. Um, and not for really a lot of the reasons you mentioned. Um, my first thing I noticed is he has four Carolina players, which I'm not fond of. Um, in one team in the first 13 rounds, you know, obviously in a dynasty startup, you're typically going about 25 rounds or so. Um, so this is just about halfway through, um, you know, you're going to still get some younger talent. Um, but yeah, so you're already kind of coming up with that. I'm actually kind of fine with Watson grabbing him in a, in a dynasty because that talent's there. He's not going to, you know, sit forever. Um, even if he's gone this whole year, you still have him possibly for next year. Um, so I'd take a shot on that. Um, if you someone's you know, the, him back, he gets a no game suspension. He right. <laughs> the owner talks to his boy. Hey, drop all charges. Eh, okay. Right, and that you know, there's some that, that there's a chance that might happen too. But obviously, he's going to probably face some type of suspension. But um, again, we've seen other guys come back and play, you know, with worse charges, um, as have been mentioned uh, just a few seconds ago. Uh, so, <laughs> and still playing and being drafted. Um, it's so. Huh? Yeah, exactly. Um, so again, just his running back depth is also lo- lacking. Um, so you know he's behind that quarterback, he's behind that re- running back, and he really needs to kind of hit or you know really acquire some type of draft picks, um, you know, from someone who's trying to win now. Um, so if he can trade off like a couple of those pieces uh, to somebody, um, you know, that's trying to get younger, uh, maybe he can acquire some talent and uh, build this team out. So. Um, I had to come in at a C. Sorry, right? I think I think you just call it a scratch this season. Hopefully, Fields and Joe <laughs> will work out for you. 
All right, Frank. Hey, you <laughs> he's then. coming back. Hey. Yeah, he like <laughs> we're like holding him back, and he's like kicking him. <laughs> he's like trying to kick stone, and we're holding him and trying to pull him. Away. Okay, my God, hey, <laughs> jump on! I can't. Hey, M- Mirel is six. Ram ten. Hey, he's here. Rams will go. Can you help uh, us out on that one, Frank? This guy, I think. Had that was really the most good racist oh, thing I've ever heard. Yeah, oh, see, I know he was. How do you say it? Mireles. Mireles. Let's go. Uh, so yeah, uh, I like He's this. Going to be like Irish or something. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I like Herbert. He's young, you know. Uh, I, I like Etienne. Uh, you know, another young guy coming into the league for sure. Um, I don't like Carr. <laughs> basically the only pick I didn't like that he took. Um, but I, I like the rest of the car, David Carr. Uh, Derek. Derek, David, Derek. I don't give a shit. He sucks. <laughs> he sucks. Hey, should A minus say. for the team, though. A minus for the team. I like the whole <laughs> structure. I like the players that he got. I like some of the younger players that he has on there. I think he, he can win now, and I think he's set up for the future to build a good team out of this. Hey, yeah, so have- Frank, t- hey, time out, Ant. This guy drafted somebody that Anthony was his big sleeper last year. And I haven't seen Anthony draft him one time, even in this league, when he had a couple chances with Jalen Rager. Rager, Jalen Rager, right? He's just leaving. Hey, I think he's leaving him out on purpose because then these guys are going to be hip to the game. And then when we're in these drafts that we are going to be having with our listeners, they're going to be souping up on his players. I have to keep hey, you're just telling them all this stuff, huh? These guys got to pay. They got to subscribe it. for these. You're not <laughs> drafting this guy. No, but he's going to be on my watch list. Like, as soon as he does <laughs> oh, anything. I'm just, as soon as I pull off a trade, I'm grabbing him. Um, oh, but no, nah, I got a Mireles. I don't even know how to say it. Oh, that was um, nice. I was yeah, trying. I tried. I tried. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm right there with Frank, man, on this team. I, I got him down as an A. Uh, I like how he has it constructed. A nice young quarterback at the helm. Uh, that's ready and poised to win now. Uh, potential top three, um, you know, wide receiver, um, you know, has a, a workhorse running back that he got in the third round uh, with with the Z. Um, he is a little older um, in dynasty years, but still should have, you know, some good years left. Um, has ETN, you know, up and coming uh, running back too. Uh, has Mike Mike Davis that he could throw in there um, as well. Ooh. Mike Davis. Can I, can I, hey, can I do that? Like, <laughs> I know it doesn't. <laughs> Mike Davis. Let's and, um, that. Can we? I don't I think don't we know. can. Well, yeah, I don't think uh, so. I'm I don't sure think, we, if anything, it. we might have to get, like, censored for that. Yeah. Yeah, we might have to actually pay the other way around because you did that. Oh, um, no, it's okay. Sorry, we'll, we'll, we'll consult our lawyers. If it's in here, <laughs> then that means we're good. Uh, if you're watching this, seriously. So we got a, and then he has, you know, two as is a QB2 who's young, up and coming as well. And um, I think, you know, you have a, a little bit of safety with, um, you know, Derek Carr uh, there as your QB3, um, just depending on what to it, you know, to it does. So you can kind of swap them out uh, depending on how, how that's do you going. Like Tua over Baker. I mean, I again, Aaron that's why it's not an A plus. Yeah. Again, that's why it's not an A plus. Um, you know, I would take probably any of those guys that go after him in that same round. Um, again, Baker's young and he's a little more proven. You know, Zach Wilson is David at least young. Or over <laughs> Seriously. <Sorry. laughs> um, you know, Matt Ryan, I understand yeah, because he is, you know, older. Um, but again, you know, like you said. Uh, I mean, it's not too bad, uh, but again, that's what stops it from, you know, being an A plus. Um, but overall, um, it's a lot, a, of, a lot of talent there. Yeah, a lot of talent there. So yeah, well done. He's, he's set up to win now and going to be all right for the future. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. And that's what you want. You could trade guys off uh, later. Hey. With another ten rounds to go, you know, keep that in mind. There's still like another ten rounds to go in this draft. Hey, dim boys. <laughs> dim boys. Up there. Hey, he is up there. Not only has the best logo in the draft, um, what you start off with Dak Amberl, get out of here. Love your running back picks. Uh, 
your receivers, so much future there with Gaskins. Noah, th- hey, this dude, like, won my heart. Tony Pollard, get out of here. You got uh, Tony, I think they call him Joker. Hey, what? Hey, steals left and right. I'm tossing an A+. Plus. And we have a Raiders wide receiver sighting there in the last, in the 13th. Yeah. Um, Did that happen? Did that happen? Yeah. Yeah, it's dynasty. It happened. He is it's a young dynasty. talent. I don't know. We'll see what happens. The Raiders like, may not like be terrible Raiders. forever. I mean, honestly, I, 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 I dropped him down a little bit more, less than your A there. With, I, I'm not too, too fond of CEH or David Montgomery. I think they're going to have down years again. I know they, David Montgomery was doing really good last year. I don't think he's going to be doing as well this next coming season. I do like Scary Terry and Higgins very much so. Gaskins because he's young. Up and coming. I really don't care for Noah Fant, but he's still also a young player oh, as well. Oh, here we go. Hey, but those those are just my players. You love Noah. That. Rugs, another fan, not not a fan of Rugs either. Even even as he took him that late, but hey, uh, I'm still at a B range for him because of those players. I think he does better. He's he's, he's drafted better. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm kind of right in between both of you guys. I'm at a B plus uh, here for Dim Boys. Um, you know, because he went with those first two, you know, quarterback ones, um, he ended up kind of getting stuck, if you will, uh, with two RB twos, which yeah. isn't necessarily bad, um, because at least they are young. Um, and you know, Montgomery has a pretty good role and he's like kind of coming into his prime. So he could be a future RB one, uh, down the line. Um, so again, that's kind of what earns it the plus. Um, but then he doesn't really have too much, uh, depth after that. Again, we'd see what he would end up kind of pulling there in the later rounds as far as, you know, future running back, uh, potential, um, and, you know, depending on what could be done also in the rookie draft. Um, but again, overall, I give it a B plus. Um, like I said, I've seen better drafts, um, here before him. (laughs) I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'll like, there's him, been... I'll buy him, I there, get you. He's had a lot, he's no, had a lot of A's. He's, this, 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 yeah, that's what I'm saying, A's. yeah. Like, he, he knows how to draft, he knows what he's doing. And, um, you know, I think he could have just kind of got, again, a couple things different, but I don't think it's bad. You know, again, it's Dynasty, so a lot of it's subjective, so... It is subjective. So one thing I want to say, you always got to roll with your punches when it comes to fantasy football. We made videos, it's like, hey, know your opponents, that kind of thing. I know when I'm hopping into a draft, Frank, Anthony want to see running backs early and often. I do myself too. And what I do when people are like that and they're going to draft running back, running back, running back, right? I feel like a future song. Hey, give me the best available wide receivers. Give me the best available quarterbacks. As far as quarterbacks, like, argue oh, with tough. me that there's a, better, yeah. there's a better set of quarterbacks. Going into the future, two guys – I think Dak Prescott's uh, 25 years old. I know he was born July 29th, same birthday. I'm not a weirdo. That's the only reason I know that. But hey, he's like 25 right now coming off an of injury. Him and Joe Burrow moving into the future. And you got Jameis Winston to plug in there. Like, hey, future Both coming off right? horrific injuries, though. Hey, since you're you're talking about Dynasty, though, like. You gotta be you, hating. No, not bad. No, not bad. Yeah. Easily, I, mean, I you think could has argue probably that Justin Fields, Deshaun Watson, five years down the road, still going to be relevant. That kind of. I was thing. going to say the only thing I would say is the Mahomes Tannehill, um, but it'd probably be more so Mahomes and whoever he ends up drafting in this rookie draft, or whoever he could possibly trade for. Um, but yeah. I would say, other than and then maybe Josh Allen and and uh, Jalen Hurts is maybe the only other duo mm-hmm. here. Or I didn't even realize that was my team, so that kind of sounds stupid. Coming no, but I that. know what you mean. Obviously, <laughs> but yeah, no, even but again, that's Jones, why I drafted him. I mean, again, that's why I drafted him. And people are saying what... that Daniel Jones will be a top 10 quarterback. So that's what I'm talking about. Like, I think moving on to the future and even this year, if they do stay healthy. So one thing I try not to do, you know, people that are injury prone, but you try to look at your team like, hey, if they were to stay healthy. And that's how we have to grade you too. But we also have to say like somebody that's injured every single year, like, you know, it, it's a very thin line between that. So I, I think he did pretty solid. Yeah. B plus. I think is where I had him. Yeah. B plus. Right in the middle, you guys. Not bad. Not bad. Head, shoulder. Oh, I 
head and shoulders. Knees? Knee? And toes? Knee? Knee? Yeah. He spelled it. He spelled it wrong. All right. Hey, <laughs> as you guys know on the show, <laughs> hey, we hate talking about Packer fans. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where did hey. that come from? My wife's a Packers fan. Right. As I said, and we don't talk we about her, talking, right? <laughs> <laughs> that was her better not. one of the show. You hey, better not. I, I'm scared of her for sure. Um, <laughs> we hate talking about Packers fans, so let's make this as quick as possible. What do you guys got? I like ahead, I like the D team uh, with Cook, Wilson, Hopkins, then Joe Money, Carson, Evans, Cook, Cup. I like the whole setup right there, all the way up to the You can confuse me. With the way you read those names, I felt like you missed so many names that were just. <laughs> no, but you give me. Maybe they they're meant to be unsaid, but hey, okay, so you like it? <laughs> I do like it. I like the no whole No Hopkins, thing. no Carson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not, whoever they are. Whoever uh, those guys are. So, would you give them, Frank? Uh, let me see. Uh, where's that? And the. Knee... I got him a B. I ended with a you know re, uh, weak RB two. The backups. Um, I don't know. It's just mostly Sam Darnold. Honestly, at the end of the day, uh, he's just yeah. not. I'm not a, too fond of him. But I like that he took Irv Smith. I like that where he took Tanya way later like that. <coughs> uh, you know, lottery pick. You, you know. <laughs> okay. But I do like so that. Tanya has a spot, but it's got to be yeah, way, way down at the bottom. Down there with Deshaun Watson kind of uh, positioning. Yeah. Tanya and Watson, and you're good. Like, give you <laughs> yeah. in your draft. Yeah, if you Tanya did that, then you're, now you're talking. I like that. You might get 20 <laughs> bucks from Frank. I don't know. Um, <laughs> hey, so, Ant, what'd you give him? No, nah, um, I, I kind of saw it a little different here with this team. Um, I had to go with um, – I was on that kind of B minus, C plus uh, kind of borderline. And reason being is just uh, just kind of the QBs. Um, to me, he needs uh, help. Uh, he only has three total running backs on the team um, at all they're on a solid. dynasty team. Uh, yeah, they're solid, but again, solid. that's <laughs> that's tough. Yeah. I mean, you know, again, and, and we're talking dynasty. Um, you know, this isn't redraft. So, you know, you need to have some of that. Just take a um, bunch of rookies later on in those extra rounds. But they're not there. You know, the Gainwells, the Hubbards, the, you know, you I mean, look at Singletary's. I'm just saying the Sermons, like all those guys are all taken. You know, the Michael Carter. Yeah. So it's like, you know, you got to kind of get some of that running back depth. Now, granted, uh, maybe that's what he's going to do in the, you know, in the rookie draft is uh, just kind of go for that. Um, but again, he just kind of has an older team. Um, I and... can't wait to do Dynasty. Yeah, I'm rounds. just. You know how many more running backs are out there that are not on this board right now that are going to be factors next year? That'd be car- oh, crazy. Sorry. Hey, we'll get there. We'll get to that. <laughs> we'll get to that draft. We're not going to beat them up. Um, thank you, Anthony. New Nundu. New New Nundo. New drafter. New drafter. New Nundo. New Nundo. I tried Nundo. all variations. Let innuendo? Me know. <laughs> Is it in new Nindo? Oh, that's deep, bro. That's deep. Innuendo? It's just noon. Noon 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 noon. <laughs> like doing nothing at noon. Hey, and now <laughs> on to the next team. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much time on your name. We'll never get to anything else. CD Lamb's there. Hey, you won me over, my guy. Uh, good job. Other than that, hey. Kind of an older team. I mean, he did get Trey Lance. He got CD. Cool. But, I mean, other than that, I don't want to call him older. Right? He's got yeah, Zach Moss. What do you, what did you guys think? Right? Hey. I'm right there with you. I, I, seen this, I, thought, I saw the same thing you're seeing. There's not much, you know, young players on here. No rookies, really, other than Trey Lance. Um, no any and, windows. You know, and – but I did like the team overall. I like, <laughs> like some of the, the players that he had on it. Um, but as far as, you know, looking into the future, he wasn't really looking that far. Uh, so I gave him a B on that. Um, and Pretty just, good. Just, you know, just I think, you know, he it, it, it could, it could win now, but maybe not, you know, he's going to have to draft some people. And what would you think? 
Yeah, I'm a little lower. Um, I'm kind of on that uh, B minus uh, C plus range. Um, I think he does have some, you know, young talent with Taylor. Um, but again, when you come down to those running backs um, with uh, Damian Harris as your RB2, uh, Zach Moss, and then, you know, Gus Edwards, that's not a very good uh, running back core uh, to really compete Don't, now. I like Gus Edwards. I mean, that's as your RB4. Zach Moss, too. But, but I'm just saying, know, he's, he's running behind Frank, J.K. Dobbins. Hey, and Yeah, he's running behind J.K. Dobbins and Lamar Jackson. Um, so, you know, again, you're talking <laughs> – in- you're talking injury before he's, you know, really relevant. Again, maybe if he gets traded off, you know, it is dynasty. Um, but again, um, like you see, I said, he is kind of older there in the middle part of the draft. I think he did fine in the beginning. Um, but again, overall, he kind of li- lands on that C plus B minus border range because he does have some, you know, good talent there. And I think he's young Can enough guess- receiver and quarterback. Yeah. Is this like Juju's friend? I feel like everybody knew you're like, oh, this is Juju's friend. So. <laughs> no, not this guy. Kidding. I don't think he came in from uh, – I think he just came in from one of the uh, sleeper posts. So, Hey, you got to love it. So this next team, I wish I had like uh, Chris Berman's voice. who's like, the Chargers. However he does it. Hey, the Chargers, he's back. The Chargers. Right? I want to be fancy, like the eye charger. Um, oh, yeah. Hey, came through with Lamar. You got to love it. Chubb, still young. Dobbins, young. Ridley, I mean, Baker, like, come on, bro. Hey, Cooper's young. Don't forget about Coop. Hey, I, as far as, like, getting a young team that's just going to be solid, like, I know I may not have you guys uh, on the same side as me, but I love what he did. I really like his team. I'm right there with you. I am on the same side of you. I like okay. I like the setup. I like the, the, the structure of the team. I don't like the players that he chose. You know, Carter in there, Evo Samuel. Um, you know, I like those guys. Those are young guys. Even Mims is his last pick. Uh, I give him the A. Okay, Frank. Yeah, he's one of the two guys in this draft that got the A. Wow. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, wow. Anthony's gonna break our hearts, and eh, you <laughs> sound like yeah. you may not agree. No, I'm I'm there, kind of in that B B plus range uh, You're a B for me. Plus, sir. I he know, right? Well, hear me out. Um, he has the Lamar Jackson and a uh, Dobbin stack, and he has the Mayfield Chubb stack. I'm um, not real big fan um, of the QB running back uh, stack, and he doubled down on that. Um, so high scoring offenses. If somebody scores, I'm pretty much going to get the points. Yeah, and if they don't, run it. and if they don't, you're screwed. So, and again, you got to keep in consideration what uh, division those specific stacks are playing in. Um, probably one of the tougher defensive, dis, you know, divisions that they're playing in. Um, you know, just year in and year out. And yeah, but know, they're again, the teams with the better defenses. No, I know, but I'm just saying, like, and they still have to can play you, each other twice a year. So Can I jump off topic? Can you imagine sure. the Tannehill-Henry stack? If you want to stack, hey, that's where you start. Yeah. Julio's not getting no more uh, touch. <laughs> hey, he don't not get touchdowns anyway. He was never touchdowns, touchdowns, yeah. touchdowns yeah. on. And that's no, what I'm seriously. saying. It's not going to change now. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah, it's hey, not I all of a sudden going to get better. <laughs> no, it's good, and that's, that's what I'm saying. Call, that's dude. why it's in that That's a good beat. take. That's why it's in that B, B, B plus range uh, to me. And, um, again, like, otherwise, you know, it's all right. I think it kind of falls off after the 10th round here uh, with Boyd, you know, Thomas, Hines, Mims kind of just starts getting real black uh, kind of down like there. Thomas. I like where he took Thomas. Are you kidding me? I mean, you know, I mean, are you maybe kidding after him? that. Yeah, I'm, he, no on Noah Fant, but yay on Thomas <laughs> down here. Yeah, um, Thomas is going to score some points, then, dude. But I'm just hey, saying, then you go high. Look who's throwing to I him, right? Thomas. Fitzpatrick. Yeah, Fitzpatrick. Anthony, why don't you just get out of here, dude? I don't feel like you did your research today. I know, I, I guess so. About... <laughs> just... But again, it just, it just it just start, it starts <laughs> getting a little blah. No, it just it starts getting a little blah for me at that point. Um, <laughs> you know, just again, with Hines and Mims. Do you like Naeem and knowing Hines? there's Knowing there's 10 more mm-hmm. rounds to go after this. Um you know, again, the top half is good. I mean, a B plus isn't bad. I mean, it's not a bad grade. So, 
It's not an A. I'm just saying. Right. And hey, again, some, if, if he gets those level players the and they're not stacked, then, you know, then to me, it's a little better. I didn't mind the stacks. I like, a, I like the stacks that he has. That's why I gave him the A. So, all right. Moving it's on. Not, it's moving not on. all about the bottom half. Eh? Some some guys are in the top half. Um, so, moving <laughs> in to our boy Lou Camp is back. Luke Camp. Luke Camp. I, don't, I shouldn't like even be Chang. allowed to talk about this. <laughs> Luke Kang, get him, Frank. Let us right. know what you think. Uh, you know, I like that he started off with three running backs. That looks cool. Yeah, you know what I mean? Come on, that looks solid. You know you do. But <laughs> I it says he went with Kyle Pitts is where he lost a little bit. But a little bit. Only because since this is a, this is a rookie draft. Why not? You know what I mean? Uh, you, this is a dynasty draft. I'm sorry, not a rookie draft, but a dynasty draft. Why not? Why we not know get the mean. guy that is going to be the top tight end for years to come, hopefully? Um, and you got Michael Thomas, Smith, you know, Bobby Cheese over here. Um, then he ends up with the, the, you know, the quarterback core way late, but he ends up with you know, Love over here, Bridgewater, uh, which, you know, I like those two at that point, that low, you know, Brady coming in there. So I think he ended up pretty decent with the team uh, i give him a b overall hey that's all right so one thing luke camp i'm gonna break down with you taking your first quarterback who's damn near 100 years old with your eighth pick to still get a b from frank that's pretty damn solid well this Especially is a different for, type of team though you know what i mean no agree but that's what i'm saying like if you're if you're doing dynasty and you're picking tom brady's your first quarterback off the board so really your first future quarterback is going to be number 10. Like, hey, in my opinion, that's solid. You set up for your future. Is it right now? Like, you would need a lot. Well, well he is. So look at Cam Akers. He's young. And Eckler's young. You know, as long as Barkley stays healthy, he could get some years out of him. Um, of but course. He's got a pretty no, young no. core. You know what I mean? No, that's I, what I, I'm like. saying. He's got a solid team. And that's why I'm just trying to give him kudos. Like, for a zero QB strategy, like a legit zero QB yeah, strategy, yeah. like I think you pulled it off. We haven't, we haven't seen anybody go that hard. Um, but I mean, you got time. We'll see what happens. Who knows? If Aaron Rodgers doesn't play, like this could turn out amazing. Who knows? Um, and do you feel the same way as us? Seems like we're kind of leaning in the same direction. Yeah, I just think. Uh... Yeah, it's the, it's really the same thing. I'm right with you guys. I kind of came in at a at a B minus. Um, I think he executed the zero QB strategy um, as well as you kind of could. Uh, all things considered, there's kind of a couple things that I would uh, do a little different. But um, I think you know Jimmy Garoppolo is okay. Um, you know he's obviously not going to be the quarterback with the Niners, but who knows where he's going to go? You know later on. So in Dynasty, I really like that pick. Uh, getting him as a QB four uh, Bridgewater still, I think is going to have a couple years left. You know, he may bounce around and kind of be like a Fitz Fitzpatrick, you know, just kind of get, you know, a team, you know, through, you know, rebuild rebuilding years um, and be able to put up points for you um, on your fantasy team as a QB two QB three. Um, and then he has kind of a future quarterback in, in yeah. love um, that has probably one of the best weapons um, in Devonte Adams um, that we have, you know, the wide receiver one overall. Um, I thought you were gonna game. say and a long term deal. I thought you were gonna say Tanyan. Oh yeah, no, 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 not Tanyan. Um, so <laughs> again, like you said, for going that late, I think you can kind of get away with it in um, you know, dynasty. Um, because again, you can get those late quarterbacks to kind of build you in now. And then again, if you're winning now, you can just, you know, do some trades and try to pick up a, a young QB later and uh, see where you go from there. So, and you can um, tell he went desperation, like when you see that run of quarterbacks. Like, right. Yeah. It's, it was like, it's oh, always a smart oh, snap. move. But I like, need to get like, some quarterback. I right? overcompensate. Yeah. Yeah. It's the panic picks, as I like to call them. Uh, but the the funny thing to me is there if may he be just, panic picks on uh, wide receivers on the next one, but we'll get there. Right. But to me, I think where he messes up is, you know, if he goes Fitzpatrick there instead of uh, Thielen, um, I think that turns out a lot better. Oh, yeah. So, you know what I need to do? With I will do that. I will put no, arrows at not... the end of these things at the end of this uh, thing, so that way I can keep remember where the where the turns are coming and back and forth. 
because I've been wanting to mention a couple of those, but I wasn't sure if that's who they missed on. You know what I mean? Yeah. You have you to start at the top of the it. snake. You have to stop, start at the top <laughs> of the snake. And you're like, which arrows, which way is the arrow facing? Just look at the numbers. Read the numbers. Yeah, yeah. 10, 4, 10, 5. It goes in order. <laughs> you can yeah. see easily which way it goes. Hey. You just look to the left, look to I, the right. I do 100% know what you mean. I still catch myself reading that. Yeah. And then I go, <laughs> I go back to the numbers. You're like, which way um, is this? Yeah. That's why I know hey, at least around fish. above and around below. <laughs> you usually right, get hey. you know that. So again, like we kind of talked about. Okay, let me try to break down this damn guy's name now. Uh, 70? It's 70. No, I, that's what we want to say. But it's 770. Uh, 770 is, uh, like, it, as far as young quarterbacks, like, nailed it. Young receivers, everything, like, future, this dude probably has the brightest future from what we know right now, right? We've never seen these guys, uh, a lot of these rookies play. We don't know what they're going to do. We know they have all the hype in the world. So, like, he did it. He did his thing. Once we're talking about, like, future years from now, um, what do you guys think? Obviously, he had a huge run at receiver. Right. I'm right there definitely with you. Definitely wide that. receiver heavy. I think he I went did, really young. Good take, Frank. And and and, and if he uh, <laughs> if he decides that, I think he might be losing now. But again, who knows? Who knows how these players will pan out? But I think he's set up for the future. Like definitely set up because look at all the young players he's got. Oh, crazy! Lawrence, Justin Jefferson, Dude, Chase it. Wilson, and then you, Sermon. Dylan, yeah. you know what I mean? Like the whole, basically, it's yeah. almost this whole lineup, even at even down low where yeah. you take Brown and St. Brown over here. He's just taking all these, you know, young or rookie players on the team. And I, I love that tickets. about it. Uh, yeah, they're all lot of mm-hmm. tickets. Uh, and, if, and if some of these pan out, then he's going to do well. I gave him Straight a B plus for the whole thing. Um, I thought it was, I thought it was pretty well, pretty good. Uh, you know, I noticed that same run of wide receivers at the end, but. Um, so, you know, Frank. Frank, I think me and you are on the same page. Sounds like Anthony may not be with us on this. Is that right? It is some more RBs. It just to me, it just depends on what you guys uh, kind of consider. Um, I give this a, or am I? At? I gave this a B plus, and only reason why is because to me, it's a B plus only because it's dynasty. Um, yeah, I think I he punted. I think he punted. Yeah, I think he punted for this year. Uh, but to me, that's a lot, a lot of tickets that he he bought, and he's gonna start scratching them. And when they start hitting, he can start trading and These basically like building 50, 50 out his team. Tickets, so. Just exactly, he can year. sell them now. Yeah, he can sell them now. He can wait till they mature. Um, he's gonna have a lot of options, um, you know, in the years ahead, uh, whether it's gathering, you know, future draft picks, um, and just you know, really starting to build from there. Um, so again, you know, if you're getting in a dynasty league that you know is going to be around for, for a long time and you're just not comfortable kind of with, expect. right. Then, mm-hmm. you know, you can build out for the future. You know, me personally, I like to go for win now teams because I never know what's going to happen. You're never, you know, promised tomorrow today. Um, so I go, you know, kind of all in right now. Um, but at the same time, you know, you got to hey, and I love that. project out and for the I future. I love that you're giving so. me insight on that because – there is two types of people. There's some like, hey, I want to win this season. And some like, okay, I'm going to sack for my future. It's right. just a difference of, uh, I don't want to say personalities, but a different um, way take- or, yeah. And people are, that's what we're going to do, right? So it's a different strategy gonna play together, with- really. Yeah. Just a yeah. different way you want to play your game. So I, I respect it. I enjoy it. That's why I give it a good grade. So can I jump sh- straight yeah, to awkward. Off the yeah. Awkward Shark Dad. Awkward Shark Dad. Who's definitely if not that, FF Tycoon. <laughs> if that is your real name, we don't know anymore. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on. People are trying to break in uh, across the red tape to get into our shows now. And apparently you might have a burner account like KD. We don't know. We're not pointing <laughs> fingers. Awkward Shark Dad. We're always happy to have you. Um, Dude, hey, we've talked about this earlier when you're talking about a team right now, talking about a team later. Like, I, hey, give me this team this year, and I am not mad at it. Give me a couple extra drafts after that. Again, I'm one of those people that I don't care how many bench spots we get. When the draft ends, it's like, 
my brain's going crazy. And I'm like, dude, there's so many more people out there. I'm second guessing myself. Like I can get this guy, this guy. So like, give me this team and extra draft picks. Like I, I love it. Especially more for rounds to go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give me 20 more rounds. And I'm like, dude, my eyes are like this. Like, well, that's the one thing that I didn't notice. He didn't take any red pieces. He's, he's not a young talent team on here, you know. Um, and I think that he's going to regret that later on. I think that some of these players you do have to take now, or maybe he was, you know, obviously he just was not targeting. He's trying to win now. Um, but he's still weak in RBs. The backup are running backs are just not that good. And I think that's why he could have just took some of those rookie running backs or somebody else. I gave him a B. I agree, but look at those two running backs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Kamara and Henry, he's still he's built to win today. He's built to win now, but not in the future. Give me those two for the next three, four years. You know, running back life lifespan is yeah. very short, but very short, dude. And these and guys are I mean, these like guys are getting to the twilight. They're literally in their prime, and they only got like two years in their prime, three years max. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, Kelsey's yeah. in his thirties. Yeah, it's a it's a tough team, you know. Ryan's almost forty. Yeah. Uh, Stafford's, Stafford's getting up old. there. Fitzpatrick's <laughs> on his way out. Yeah, um, like, his only young talent is Chase Edmonds and Madison. Um, Samuel's Steve not like too Casey bad. Casey used to take all the forty nine er players. Remember? Yeah. Hey, I love how when people, if you watch our shows, you can see the difference of how we you pick. Uh, and so this is a difference, guys. I hope you guys are listening. When we're talking about is it dynasty, is it fantasy uh, redraft, is it super flex, that kind of stuff, like it, things change so quick. Like if you pick up a Fitzpatrick in the ninth round in another league, like that could be a solid, amazing pick. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And if you pick him up in a dynasty, it's kind of like, uh, hey, what is this guy thinking, you know? Yeah. So yeah. It's, just, it's just one of those things, guys. Yeah, he's <laughs> Again, Fitzpatrick is definitely not a dynasty guy. He'll be. Probably won't be in Washington next year. Who knows? Who knows if he's going to be on next one? He's a you journeyman, know? as we like to yeah. call him, a journeyman. Yeah. I mean, they, he's played how many how many different teams now? I like him. I, I like him for you know, guy. what he does. But like for so, what you guys no. give him? Break down I give him a B. Break. I give him a B. I don't know what happened. Oh, I was. On I know he's set up for winning B, now. I was I, on the B plus A minus, and like I said, just because he's so, set a bit, you know, win now is why I say A minus. Um, and if he, you know, you just as far as the future, B plus. I that's kind of like how I've been almost grading it. Dynasty. Yeah, I I'm feel almost like there should be one long term, and there should be like this year. So, hey, something will. And that's why we didn't grade we'll our about. last one. Yeah, that's why we didn't grade our last. And we have so many different mod. opinions. Yeah, look at the tail of two tapes right here, though. Dude, seventy. He went super young. Everybody there is set up for for next season and Arthur Shark that did the exact opposite. He went with yeah. the win now stage. I mean there's literally oh, the yeah. two strategies sit right next to each other in the draft. Yeah. Yeah. They could trade and actually come up with and some they call nice them solid, right? each other. I mean they set one person set the next person up and the next person right? Like it's just one of those things. Yeah. I mean this yeah. guy was so guys with the views, you know what I mean? I don't know about you know, it gets in my head. Oh. <laughs> hey, that throws you off so later. bad. Hey there goes my next pick. There goes my next Breaking down so many different draft strategies, positions, um, settings. Like, there's so many different things that we're doing. So, Frank, Anthony, I appreciate how diverse you guys are, how open you guys are with your actual picks, because we know you guys – It's me too. Shit, we're in tons of leagues, so, like, we're giving <laughs> all the info out there. People know what we're doing. Um you don't have to draft what we want to do, guys. We want you guys to drop some of these guys so we can get them. But we're putting <laughs> it all out there. So, Frank, Anthony, 100%. We appreciate you guys. Thanks for being here. Love it, man. Hey, I appreciate it, else. man. And, that's, and you just hit the nail on the head. Everybody else is watching this. We're playing against them. They're going to know who we're going to try to favor in the league. And, uh, <laughs> we're you know. selling ourselves out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they're gonna be, I, I can just see it now. I'm going to be like, well, I wanted that guy. Well, that guy's fine. <laughs> they're gonna, gonna be like, a, oh well, it is what it is. We'll still win. They're gonna be like, what? Frank, you got the Deshaun Watson in the third round? <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> hey, just kidding, guys. Thanks for being here. We appreciate you guys. We love you guys. Um, we'll see you on the next episode. If you want to get into our drafts, you already know. 
hit us up on Twitter, YouTube, um, find us on Sleeper, check out our website. There's so many ways to get a hold of us. We do it all, guys. Hey, we'll see you next episode. Roll your feet out. Rust out. There you go.